Modeling a bracket from a scan in Geomagic Design X 2016. Import the bracket scan STL file into Geomagic Design X 2016. Once it is open, you will see the quality of the mesh is very good and that modeling can begin immediately. The new interface for Geomagic Design X delivers a more logically grouped path for tool sets including model, sketch, 3D sketch, alignment, surfacing, points, polygons, and region. In the Region tab, select Auto Segment, and the colors shown indicate different segments of the mesh that the software recognizes. Go to the Model tab and select a region on the front of the mesh data. Right-click and in the box select the Extrusion Wizard icon. Select the bottom region and add. Then click Go to Next Stage in the wizard. The preview of the new solid block will appear. Click OK and the block is created. Hide the new solid and select one of the inner regions of the bracket. Right click and select the Extrusion Wizard icon and the Revolution Wizard will automatically appear. Make the other regions invisible. Keep the axis direction as is. Select a few more regions that were missed. And then change the results operator to solid cut. Now select next step to preview. If it is correct, hit OK to apply. You will now see the bracket solids starting to form. Go to the extrusion wizard again and select the top edge surfaces as well as the front region. Then in the result operator, change the action to solid cut. Select Custom Extrusion Direction and the front plane to align to. Select Next, Preview, and select OK. Your solid model is starting to take shape, but it's not quite right. Right-click the Sketch 3 layer in the left-hand tree and choose Edit. Right-click on each arm of the sketch and select the line icon to make them horizontal. Right-click on the sketch, select OK, to exit out from the sketch and you'll see the solid model has updated. Select the front plane, right click and select Mesh Sketch and hit OK. Then hide the solid and change the view to the front and view just the sketch. Right click and select Circle. Select parts of the sketch profile to which the circle will align as the best fit. Turn the solid back on, select the two horizontal lines on the CAD model, right click and select Convert Entities, and they convert to Sketch Entities. Now select Extend from the Sketch Tools menu, and those lines will extend to the sketched circle. Turn the solid back on, grab the line tool, and sketch a vertical line, a horizontal line, and then another vertical line connecting to the other side. Right click and select the trim tool. Trim off the remaining portion of the circle and exit Sketch.
your solid model is getting more accurate. Select the Extrude command in the Model tab, select a sketch that was just completed, and in Options, select Direction and Midplane, and then drag the blue arrow to match up with the inner region to define the distance. Then hit OK. Display just the solid and the mesh together. Now select the top facing plane and right click, go to Mesh Sketch. Under Mesh Sketch and Silhouette Range, apply a 10 mm silhouette. Then click OK. Now right click and select Convert Entities and click on edges of the CAD model. Then select Slot from Sketch Tools. Click on two circles on opposing sides of the bracket and create a slot feature. Then select OK. Now select the endpoints of the slot and drag them onto the endpoints for the converted entities. Now right click Converted Entities and Design X converts them to construction geometry. Then right click and select Rectangle and draw a rectangle around the entire slot. Turn on the solid to make sure the rectangle encompasses the entire part. Select the circle tool from sketch menu and click on each circle. Accept the sketch and turn the solid on. Right click and select Extrude and click inside the rectangle and inside the circles at the bottom. Change the results to Solid Cut and under Direction in the Extrude command select Through All. You now get your constructed solid part. Select Accuracy Analyzer on the right hand side and click on Deviation for Body and the color map will show the difference between the polygon mesh and the solid created. Turn it back off and make adjustments as needed, for example missing fillets. Right click and create a fillet and select the two edges at around 8 mm. Then create fillets of 2 mm on the ends. Then create fillets for the rest of the edges as needed. Turn the mesh on, go back to the accuracy analyzer, and see how close it is. Green equals a very close match to the original scan data. Turn the mesh off. Your solid model is now ready for live transfer into your MCAD system.